Hi, kings and queens. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you're here. I'd appreciate your comments and when you subscribe and like my video and channel, it helps me bring you more. So sit back and enjoy. Journey of Artistic Expression How I Started I began my artistic expression writing short stories for assignments in junior high. My first love, however, is in poetry writing, which had started a catapult of events bringing me to where I am today. Most of the art I have was done back in the early 90s. Since then, I took them out of storage. I have used them in book covers for my self-published poetry books. I've also done jewelry sketches. My news works have been posted on redbubble.com. I will share more with that later. It is here I will share everything that I do concerning art, whether paintings, drawings, poetry, my writings, jewelry design, DIY projects, etc. Here are some of my duct tape DIY projects I've done so far. My first attempt was to use fancy duct tape for this item, which I made a video for. I put the link up in the description box, but this is what the box looks like. Then I found a box I could use for storage. You can see some of it already covered here. I didn't have enough tape with the same pattern so as you can see it's all in variations of different kinds of patterns here and this is me rolling the box to show you what it looks like this is the inside of the box on the outside flaps you can see here and the inside of the box. You can take a look. And this is here, the finished product with the flaps all covered on the inside and the outside. And there you have it. My new storage box all covered in fancy patterned duct tape. I bought a box set of duct tape bangles that my best friend's daughter and I made together. It came with tape, bangle bases, and instructions and you can see her showing off our designs hi everyone so I'm uh, going to make a dress form but I'm just going to do my legs today as you can see from this uh, first attempt here but the issue was that the legs like my knees were bent because I started from up at the top and then I went down this time we're going to do it the opposite way and let's see how that works out make sure that you go to the washroom beforehand because I don't know how long this is going to take and you don't want to get stuck having to go to the washroom in the middle of doing this. Put up some strips of cardboard so I'm just using some regular dollar store cheap duct tape $1.50. I bought these titanium scissors. You can use any kind of cardboard, wherever you can find them. I use um, 
an old tissue box. And what I'm going to do with this is use my right leg first. And like I said, we're going to start from the bottom. Use these as a form of like a way to cut. Alright? You see what I mean later. Now, what I'm doing is actually taping my ankle. Okay? And we're taping the sticky side up. Just like that. And I don't want to do it too many times though. And don't make it too, too tight. Try to make it flat and I like to use two layers. Make sure if you're going to use um, duct tape, I mean um, leggings, make sure that it's a pair that you don't really care for. You can see they're like holes and I just from the first one. The first uh, set of legs that I made. It's going to get a little tricky. Last time what happened was I bent my knees, so we don't want to bend the knees, right? It's getting hard to bend now. Legs are starting to get really stiff here. My back is my back is not hurt. Not applying any pressure now. Now I'm going to tape from the sticky side in. Done until here. See, so this is what the paper is for.
see nice and see here. But some parts here still are sticky. So I'm going to put some tape there. start taping up the opening I cut up to get out. Alright, so I managed to close up the sides that I had cut up. I don't know if you can see that. So from here I cut up some foam board and 16 gauge wire, attach the wire to the board. I fed the wire through the legs, glued the legs to the board, Then I stuck the legs with the scrap paper. And there you have it, my finished legs. Thank you very much for your support. If you want to, please subscribe, like, and comment. You can also find me at these other website pages. Have a fantabulous day. Toodles!